Yes. I like don't know who's what? The colors of what? Crayons? It could be crayons, markers, colored oh. pencils, it doesn't matter to me. All right, make sure you guys keep yourself muted. I'm gonna start right now. So right now, what I did was I flipped my camera down, and uh, what you're gonna do is that if you wanna see uh, my screen better, just click on my hand, and then by clicking my hand, you will pin me, and then by pinning me, I will turn bigger on your screen. Okay, try to keep chat open, guys, so people can see the answers of the colors if they need to get them. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is just go over what we did last week. So here we go. So what we did last week was we wrote our names on the front of the packet, we open it up, we went over six colors on the color wheel. Now this is not a complete color wheel because there are many other colors in the color wheel. But for us, we learned about the following. We learned about the primary colors and secondary colors. So we added red, we added yellow, then we added blue. Those are the primary colors. Who could tell me? What is red plus yellow? Raise your hand. What's red plus yellow? Anyone? I'm gonna pick uh, Afra. Orange. Good job. So I'm gonna place orange right here. Next color. What is red plus blue? Anyone? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna pick Gabriella. Purple. Good job. Also known as violet. And last but not least, who wants to tell me what blue plus yellow is? I'm gonna pick anyone. Pl blue plus yellow. Anyone? Yes, one. Green. Good job. All right, so that's what we went over last week. There was another page we went over. If we just turn the page, so let me just get rid of, of my primary colors first. Let me get rid of my secondary colors right here. We went over another page because we had time last week. And it was this one right here. So we went over color mixing. So the ones that we just talked about, and I had volunteers for this one already, so the primary colors, Added together equals the secondary colors. And then on this bottom part right here, this was a little more advanced for you guys. So we talked about tertiary colors. Tertiary colors are basically anything that's between the secondary and primary colors. And we'll talk about that right now. So yellow, sorry, red plus orange equals red orange. So it was this color right here. Uh, yellow plus green equals yellow green, which is this color right here. And blue plus violet equals blue violet which is i'm pretty sure that's blue green i think it's this one right is this one no, that's red violet i think it was this one yeah blue violet which is this one right here so these are called tertiary colors there's about six of them and if you add them all together there's about 12 colors on the color wheel so if you add primary secondary and tertiary colors all in one wheel it equals 12. so instead of doing six colors which we have over here there's actually 12 colors in the color wheel and we'll talk about about more of that, of that uh later so we don't have to worry about that let's talk about a page that we haven't gone over yet which is this one right here all right we're going to talk about warm and cool colors flip over to this page if you don't have this packet you have the option to have a blank sheet of paper and we're gonna go like this so in order to make this blank sheet of paper if you don't have this packet this is what I did. I folded a blank sheet of paper in half, just like this. So again, I'm doing this just in case if you don't have this packet. I fold the blank sheet of paper, I opened it up, and then I turned it vertical like this, so it's up and down. And I'm gonna try to make sure that it looks kind of like this worksheet that's right in front of me like this. Okay, so why don't I push this aside like this, and that way like this. So if you have the packet, it should look like this. If you don't have the pack, if you have a bunch of paper, it looks like this. And if you don't have either of these things, just watch, okay? So this is what you're gonna do first, okay? We're gonna follow along with this page and we'll color it accordingly, so don't go ahead. It says warm and cool colors. The warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. They show heat and summer. So what you're gonna do, if I move this aside, there are two colors that are the primary colors, which is red and yellow, fill those in. And then there's one secondary color that's used in the warm color, which is orange. Do that right now, okay? And then if you're done early, I want you guys to only use these three colors 
to color this top seam. And again, if you don't have this worksheet, I was able to copy it on a blank sheet of paper like this. And then the good thing about not having this worksheet, if you don't have it, is that you have this blank space up here. You can make your own warm theme if you'd like. So you want to do a beach theme or something like that, something that has to do with summer, you do that as well. Otherwise, it's done for you already over here. All you have to do is color it with red, orange, and yellow of your choice. Okay, I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to do that. If you are ahead of me, just stop, relax. If you want to color these letters up here, you can. I don't want you guys to go down here quite yet. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys enough time so no one's stressed out and no one's panicking that Mr. Mill's going too fast. All right. Good job. I see some people using colored pencils. That's good. I see some people using markers. That's good. I see some people using crayons. That's good. I see people using different supplies. That's good. Let's make sure you have the idea of using warm colors. Now, you might be asking, Mr. Mill, there are some tertiary colors that look warm too. If you want to use those tertiary colors for warm, uh, the colors are kind of like, uh, I think you can use yellow orange. You can use red orange. And I'm pretty sure those are the only two colors you can use because the other ones have cool colors in them. So I think those are the only colors you can use. So that's the tertiary colors. But for now, there we go. All right. Time now is 1040, so I have about, uh, time is it? It's I time now. Five minutes. Okay, no up? Um, I know another color you can use for warm. What color? This one. Wait, this one. Right here. Hey, what's it called, buddy? What's it called? Right here. Do you know the name? I can't see it. Um, it's... I can't pronounce it, but it's S C A R L E T. Oh, it's Scarlet. Yeah, you can use Scarlet. Okay, with that said, uh, oh, yeah, I don't want to waste much time. So, down here, it says cool colors. The cool colors are green, blue, violet. Violet is another word for purple, if you guys did not know that by now. And they show cold and winter types of colors. So, Kind of same thing that we did up here for warm, but instead do it down here. So green goes here, blue goes here, and violet goes here. If you did on a blank sheet of paper, it doesn't matter which order you do it in, as long as you have it all down there. But this is what it looks like right here. And it's a little fuzzy. Give me one sec. There we go. It's focused. And then once you're done filling in these little ovals down here, you're going to use these three colors only to color the theme of cool colors down here. And again, if you have a blank sheet of paper and you don't have the packets, you're gonna have to draw your own scene. It could be anything you want. It could be winter theme maybe, or something with cold theme. Or you can use the worksheet right here if you have the worksheet, which is great. All right, good job. Mr. Mill, it would be cool if we could have like independent art time. That would be cool. Well, guess what? We have three minutes, so <laughs> do that if you're done. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> All right, Alyssa, do you have a question? And I'm not. So Mr. Mill? Yes. I can't find the packet. It's okay. That's why I gave you the option to either watch or do it on a blank sheet of paper. Mr. Mill? Yes, what's up? Um, I like our over, um, over library and music and PE. Oh, well, thank you. Make sure we keep that a secret, though. I will Same. Talk about All right. With that said, I did you guys more time at the end if you'd like to share some stuff. So I'm going to call on a few volunteers if they want to show me what they've done so far on this packet or on their own. So raise your hand and I'll pick you. Grayson, did you want to share something? So um, 
This is mine. I tried my best to do stay in the lines with the sun in the fire, but I actually did it light for coal because light is because water is light and technically ice is water. That's good. Good job. All right, I'm going to pick uh, another volunteer that would like to share. Just make sure you raise your hand. I will uh, pick someone else. Give me one sec. I'm going to see if... Um, hold on. All right. Okay, let me pick someone that has their hands raised. I'm going to pick uh, Ellie. So, this is mine. I did it like so neatly. Well, kind of. I couldn't find the crowns. Like, nope. I don't have all color crowns. That's okay. All right. With that said, um, I did promise you guys all to have a, an opportunity to share yours. So, with keeping your microphones off, I want you guys all to show me what you've done. If you want to hold up a different picture of art that you've done over the past week and a half, you may show that to your screen right now while keeping your microphone off because right now it is time to get going. So I want everyone to show me something. So keep your microphones off and then I'll make sure that I can see it. I do see everyone's screen now. I was able to uh, change the settings so I can see everyone's tile. So you can see everyone's face. Oh, wow, good job. Mateo, I see yours. Sophia, I see yours. Everyone, I see yours. And with that said, it's time to go because right now it's 1045. So I want to ask you guys to log off. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.